हेलो ऑल टुडे लेट्स नो अबाउट इंटर एंड इंट्रा असाइनमेंट डिले एंड जीरो डिले कंट्रोल डिले बेस्ड टाइमिंग कंट्रोल इन एन एक्सप्रेशन स्पेसिफाइज द टाइम ड्यूरेशन बिटवीन व्हेन स्टेटमेंट इज एनकाउंटर्ड एंड व्हेन इट इज एग्जीक्यूटेड डिलेस आर स्पेसिफाइड बाय द सिंबल हैश वेरी लॉक डिले स्टेटमेंट्स कैन हैव डिलेस स्पेसिफाइड आइदर ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड और राइट हैंड साइड ऑफ द असाइनमेंट ऑपरेटर वी विल स्टडी अबाउट बोथ टाइप्स ऑफ डिले कंट्रोल सो फर्स्ट कम्स रेगुलर डिले कंट्रोल और इंटर असाइनमेंट डिले रेगुलर डिले कंट्रोल is used when a non zero delay is specified to the left hand side of a procedural assignment it is also called inter assignment delay the execution of a procedural assignment is delayed by the number specified by the delay control for begin end groups delay is always rel relative to time when statement is encountered for example reg x y z in this initial begin end block we are assigning y equal to 1 and z equal to 0 however y equal to 1 will be executed 10 units after it is encountered in this activity flow so first x equal to 0 then after 10 time units y equal to 1 similarly after 20 time units of delay z will be assigned 0 now let us see intra assignment delay control in intra assignment delay we provide delay in the right hand side of the assignment operator this indicates that the statement is evaluated and values of all signals on the right hand side is captured first then it is assigned to the resultant signal only after the delay that is specified on the right hand side of the operator we will understand this with the help of an example so in this module always at the rate passage clock begin out one equal to hash 5 in one out two equal to in two so here we are assigning in one to out one but we are delaying the assignment of in one to out one by five time units so we are using intra assignment delay in this example so here out1 equal to hash 5 in 1 statement introduces an intra assignment delay of 5 time units within the always block this delay only affects the timing within the assignment of in1 to out1 and does not impact the timing of other assignments in the module passage clock condition indicates that block is sensitive to pos positive edge of a clock signal in very log both inter assignment delay and intra assignment delay both are used to model delays in digital circuits the difference between both has been shown here for study at a glance so inter assignment delay is specified between different assignments while intra assignment delay is spe specified within a single assignment in inter assignment delay it affects the timing relationship between two or more assignments however in intra assignment delay it affects the timing within a single assignment inter assignment delay is applied to entire module or block 
while intra assignment delay is applied to specific signal assignments syntax for inter assignment delay assign hash delay output equal to input so delay is in the left hand side while in intra assignment delay delay will be in the right hand side inter assignment delay is useful when modeling delays between different logic path while intra assignment delay it is for modeling delays within a single logic path third type of delay is zero delay control let us study this in detail procedural statements in different always initial blocks may be evaluated at the same simulation time the order of execution of these statements in different always initial blocks is non deterministic zero delay control is a method to ensure that a statement is executed last after all other statements in that simulation time are completed this we use to eliminate race conditions however if there are multiple zero delay conditions the order between them will be non deterministic let us understand with an example so here there are two initial begin end blocks and in both we are assigning x and y with some value so in the first initial begin end block we are assigning x and y with 0 while in the second we are assigning it with 1 so this will create a race condition hence if we use hash 0 in second initial begin end block then x equal to 1 and y equal to 1 will be executed in the end so the result will be x equal to 1 y equal to 1 keep learning thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe this channel bye bye